you know, days, too much times off. Maybe like a week here and there from February. Maybe like twice I took a week off, but I really never took no break. So I've consistently been training. So I'm I'm ready. I'm just ready to go. Just now about uh just uh getting the rounds in the sparring, getting the, the, the southpaw look. I mean, even though I, like I, I've been sparring a lot of southpaws and just getting the weight off, and I'll be ready. Speaking of southpaws, I mean, I know I seen you um you know shadow boxing with Tank as soon as he came out. Not shadow boxing, slap boxing. Um, yeah. You know, uh, would you was you able to like you know have a deep conversation after he got out? Nah, yeah, me and Tank was talking every day while he was locked up, so you know it was not it, it was not like not too much catching up we had to do. So, right. Um, what about boxing talk? Oh yeah, we talked about me and Tank talked about everything when we when we when we you know that's that's my guy that's like a, that's definitely like a brother of mine. So we talked about everything. We talked about uh, a lot of stuff. So you know. Um, when we talk about Southpaw work, um, talk to me. Uh, is there any names that we're familiar with besides Erickson Rubin? Um, the main two guys that uh, I've, I've sparred um, um, recently, I sparred Erickson, I sparred Shakur. I mean, Shakur got like a good 12 rounds in one day, like one day, maybe like what, two months ago? Like two months ago. Um, his little cousin, Zay, Zay Quinn, I don't know if you're familiar with him. He had another great talent. Me and him got some rounds in. Uh, oh, and I got I got to spar the kid. Um, what's his name? What's his name? Damn, Edwin. Edwin. I forgot his last name. The one I just fought, Joseph Ardono. He beat uh, 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 De Los Santos. De Los Santos. Yeah, I got to spar him, and it was a uh, great work with him too. Nice, nice, nice. So you, you yeah, because he's out of New York as well, right? No, he's like in PA somewhere. Like, okay. I have, I have. We had uh, got work like in in his gym, like in PA. Mm, mm. So talk to me, man. How are you? How are you trying to move up after this fight without you know, looking past Cepeda? Um, I don't know. I mean, the way boxing is, I didn't like to be honest. From if if you'd have told me for my last fight, I would for I was fighting main event. Like I could have seen it. I could have seen it on um, on me and Zapata fight. I could have seen it because I knew the Bowser fight was going to open up uh, uh, opportunities. But um, Eddie really wanted the Montana fight, and Eddie seems still seemed like he still wants the Montana fight. So in Montana, I don't know if Montana really want that fight. And, and and after I put on a, a great performance next month, we, we don't know where where his mind will be at. So it's either me. I think that uh, me and Montana should be a main event in New York in in the Hulu thing. I think that would be great. Right, right. What well, what you think about your boy? Um, second knockdown comes, hits him with the uppercut, goes into the neutral corner, and looks at Jamel Charlo and says, "You next." What was you thinking? What's your thoughts on that matchup? Like Bud said, he was in his moment. He was living in his moment, and and um, uh, Charlo, like I said, that's another person. I like hit. Only reason, like in the back of my mind, why I would think that he would be Terrence. Is because the size and the power, but Terrence. You been in there with him? No, I'm just saying, like, just from like, no, like, just seeing and like knowing. It's because the size and the power, but Terrence is extremely skillful. Like, I know, like, Terrence knows a lot in that ring. Like, I've I've been watching this guy. It's like, and I know boxing. Like, I'm a student of the game, and I'm like, all right, like, he knows a lot. Like, like you watch fights with him and um, with him and uh, the Russian dude that they people say dropped him. You know me machine, yeah, me machine. He walked that dude down. You watch him versus even back in the days, like guys like uh Felix, the Felix, the, the Olympic gold medal, the Dominican yep. guy. Yeah, he yep. boxed circles around that guy. He boxed, mm. used his legs all day on Victor Postal. So he showed he could switch it up. Like he showed he's super skillful. So I feel like uh I really feel like he'll beat Charlo just with his skills. But like I said, Charlo's still a big and he got that punch his chance. So. So you might leave the money in the pocket and might not bet that time. <laughs> nah, I, I probably would bet on, on. I'm definitely would bet on on Terrence because like you still gotta go. Like skills pay the bills. Like at the end of the day, and he shows like he's a, definitely a real skillful fighter. Like he knows a lot in that ring. He does a lot. So I'm gonna go with him. And he got experience. So right, 